Hello, thank you for joining me for the supplement labeling tutorial. Today I'm going to cover the basics of using the supplements program to create labels. Now this assumes a couple of things. One is that you have your formula created and the other is that you are that you have a working familiarity with the supplement regulations because there are a lot of options offered here and you could conceivably create a non-compliant label. So be familiar have your formula open and then when you're ready you click the label tab and your label is generated automatically it shows up here we can see these red boxes what they're telling us is that the numbers don't fit so I need to adjust this either by sliding these bars or by resizing the entire label make these handles will make it smaller or larger in its entirety Shown here above the line are any mandatory nutrients present in measurable amounts. Below the line are dietary ingredients that do not have RDIs. And these include proprietary blends, herbs, and in this case, it's the source ingredients. You don't want to show both of these on the label, the sources and the nutrients. So there are a couple of ways we can deal with this. The first way, which I'm going to show you now, is putting the sources with their nutrients. So you click on vitamin C and you click the S to show source. We'll do that also for the zinc. And for the copper. Um, you can either display them below the nutrient or in line with the nutrient by checking this option. Once again, we don't want to show them with their nutrients and below the line, right? So we have to go and remove them from the list of components up at the top here. All you do is uncheck them. Now with echinacea, we're going to leave it there because it's an important ingredient. It's an herb and we want to show it in this formula. I want to show that this has 4% polyphenols which I know from formulating it. So I'm going to click on this, type in 4% and click the S for show. I also need to show what part of the plant it came from. And in this case, it's the whole plant. So I'm going to click S to show whole. And then I'm also going to show the Latin name. The red box showed up again. So I'm going to have to resize this a little bit. Okay, so that's one way of dealing with this. The other way is putting it in the ingredient statement. So to do that, you click the statements tab and you click the plus signs to add them to the ingredient statement. And go back to the label and we have to remove them because we don't want them showing twice. So we do that by once again highlighting the nutrient and then clicking the S to hide them again. Once we do that for all of them, I'm going to save it and click the preview button so we can see what the printed label will look like. I'm going to open the preview and I have to save it. And you can see what it looks like here with the ingredient statement. There's a couple of the things I want to look at here. Um, so go ahead, ex expand this. We're going to uncheck include weight and serving size. And we don't, there's no preparation here. So we're going to uncheck that. And I don't want to use the abbreviated measure. Okay. Now I want to look at the linear label. I'm going to go up here and select new linear template and things are happening. I'm going to save this so we can see it in the preview and that doesn't seem, that's not right. I'm going to resize this so we can see what's going on here. Again, I want to 
remove the components from appearing on the label. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And again, I want to add the polyphenols to the echinacea extract. And I want to show whole and the Latin name. That's all we're going to cover today, but you might want to take some time and familiar, familiarize yourself with the other options available on this screen. Thank you for joining me.